I am aware that I have made a very bad choice and I messed up really big. Shelly Carter sobbed in court saying she was repulsed by her own actions. I'm sorry for bringing so much shame and embarrassment to my family. I have a great amount of guilt and sorrow and remorse for the damage that I've caused. If Carter had her way, her husband Tony Carter would be dead, killed in a car accident. Carter told police she didn't care if the hitman she hired took out her two kids too. And I prayed for the last 184 days that you would be able to find favor in allowing me to start rebuilding a life with my children and have mercy on my life today. Judge Keith Spaeth didn't give in to the tears or the apology. He sentenced Carter to eight years in prison. That's the max. And that's all we could hope for, and we got it. Casey and Sarah Fryman, the couple who introduced Carter to the hitman, both received six-year sentences. We're just so glad that it's over, and we can put this behind us and begin to move on completely and get closure. The family says getting back to normal won't be easy. Tony had to sell his house. The kids get made fun of at school, and they have to start their lives over without their mom. As long as she's away from the kids until they're of legal age to make up their own minds, that's what I needed. And the murder for hire plot was foiled when the man hired to crash into Tony's car had a change of heart. That's after he realized that two kids could also be in that car. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.